Hi guys, welcome to part two of this video. In my previous video, I deep cleaned my pantry. I got rid of a lot of things. I made a lot of space and just really organized the pantry and cleaned it, sweeped and everything. And then I also went through my refrigerator. I pulled everything out and I deep cleaned it. I even included some ASMR in there for you guys because I know you guys like that kind of stuff. I made sure that my refrigerator was nice and clean, including the freezer as well and made space for all of my groceries that I wanna bring in. Please let me know if you liked last week's video. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and go back and watch that one before you watch this one so you can get up to date on this video. I figured it would probably be a good time to bring back Ibotta. I haven't done an Ibotta video in so long, but I'm gonna kinda of do it a little bit differently today. I want you guys to know that I'm still using my Ibotta and my Touch Rewards, mainly just those two. I have a lot of, I think I have like 11,000 points on my Fetch Rewards. I'm saving up for a gift card to buy some more nail supplies because I ran out of my Builder Gel. And that's what I use my Ibotta and my Fetch Rewards for is to buy things that I need for myself like nail supplies, beauty supplies, makeup, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get started. So it might be a little bit noisy in the background because I have my kids here. They're all together playing and stuff. I am going to be taking my daughter with me to the store. We're going to be heading out to Walmart and then possibly Stater Brothers. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get done. So I'd like to get back before my husband gets off of work, which is around 2.30. Okay, so I kind of sorted through everything. And it looks like we have a decent amount of meat, but I'm probably going to be able to pick up a couple more things. My freezer is looking pretty good. It's not full to the brim, but it's not empty either. But I want to show you some stuff that I already went through. I sorted through both Walmart and Stater Brothers, the things that I would be interested in and possibly getting. But I'm not sure what's going to happen once I get there because sometimes they're out of stock or sometimes they don't carry it at my store. So I might not be able to find everything that they that I want, but I did find a lot of good stuff here. I know I've showed you guys before. Once you go onto your Abida, you get to check your stores that you want. So I clicked on Walmart and they have an in-store or um, online. They have like a bunch of different sections. They have the For You, which is something that they know that you're going to like based on your purchases that you have already made using this app. And then they'll have it a buy again kind of thing, which I'm excited about this Halo hydration. Hopefully I can find it. It's really hard to find at my Walmart, but I'm hoping I can find it because I really like these. I see I have some Sierra Bay vitamin C serum on here. So this is a good way to see what's new. Then they have what's hot. So all of this stuff is trending right now, what people are buying. Then they have the best value, which means like the best cash back. So you can go through that. They have a lot of good stuff on here. They have your any items, which is really cool because you can pick up any of this stuff and you get 10 cents back here and there. It is cool to have that extra 10 cents. And you'll be surprised what you can find on there. Your dairy and eggs, so if you really like cheese and milk and stuff like that, sometimes they put a lot of like non-dairy items in there as well. So if you can scroll through and you can find stuff. See like they have like this oat milk, it's plant-based creamer. Or these vegan uh, cheese shreds or slices. like. Even if you don't do milk or, da milk or dairy, you can find stuff on here that's vegan-based or plant-based. Then you have your pantry. They have a beverage section. This includes all of your energy drinks, your juices, your, your water enhancers, stuff like that. Then you have your frozen section. So you can find breakfast, dinner, lunch, all kinds of stuff on here, even if you wanted like frozen meals. They have all kinds of like ice cream and stuff like that. Then you have your produce, which is kind of a hit and miss they don't always have produce on here but when they do it's a good thing to steal sometimes they have apples or whatever on there and then they have beauty and personal care they have household they have snacks so they have like a bunch of different categories and even now they've added in some other stuff like they have auto accessories they have electronics they have toys and games they have appliances this is how I bought my vacuum so look, right now they have a coffee maker on there. That's kind of cool. They have an air fryer on there. They have all kinds of stuff on here and you get good cash back on them too. Then they have an electronics. I don't really go on this section a whole lot, but they do have that there. Books and magazines, home, kitchen and dining. This looked interesting to me. This is something that I really wanted to go through, but I just can't afford to buy any of this stuff right now. Like I really need a knife set, a brand new one, because my knives are pretty dull. 
They have one right here for new wear. It's a six piece knife set for $7 back. And then they also have clothing and travel. So right now there's not a whole lot of clothing on here, but they do have like suitcases and organizational stuff. So you might want to go through your Walmart and whatever store you're shopping at first. That way you're not doing it in store and it's easy for you to get in and get out. Okay, I just want to pause there for a second. I also want to remind you that you, when you go into the store, make sure that you scan the item if you're not sure if it will match that offer. Otherwise, you might bring it home and it won't scan or you won't get that rebate back. We're going to go out to Walmart and see what I can find. This is not Ibotta related. I mean, everything is so expensive right now. I mean, even just tuna can be really expensive. See, $1.58 for the Starkist brand. Even for this off brand for albacore tuna, it's $1.42 a can. So we're gonna opt for something more cheaper, which is the Great Value brand. And it's packed in water for only 84 cents. And then beans, you guys, the Great Value brand is way cheaper than if you were to buy the real brand. So it's it's always a better option to pick up beans that are under a dollar. Like they have dark kidney beans, they have black beans. They even have great northern beans. You could even just buy the ones that are already pre-cooked for you. And these ones taste exactly like if you were to make them yourself and the brand it makes no difference. So I'm gonna grab some red beans. See like over here, they don't have a whole lot of brand beans, but like even these black beans here, $1.28 when you can get them for under a dollar if you just get the off brand. Even better, they have these chili beans for only 78 cents a can. And I use these whenever I make chili, so I'm gonna grab two of these. Whereas you're gonna spend $1.82 for the brand name. See, they have this on the Ibotta app for $8.98 for this bag of Royal, just for the brand. But you can get this jasmine rice for only $5.48. Jasmine rice is my favorite rice because it, I don't know, the flavor is just really good and it's very similar to basmati rice. But look, you can get 20 pounds for almost the same price, a couple bucks more than the basmati rice that's on Ibotta. But I'm just gonna grab this one for now for only $2.94 because it's enough to last us for a while. However, these ones right now are on a rollback for $1.90. So I'm gonna get one of these ones and I'm also going to get the brown rice because this is the rice that I like to eat whereas my family doesn't really care for it. So it's a good way to get stuff for yourself. So these are on the Ibotta. I think this is a pretty good deal. You get 75 cents off. So that's less than a dollar a packet, which is a good deal. I already have some of this carne asada and chili verde, so I think I'm gonna get one. Well, actually, I'll get two carnitas and one fajita blend. Another example, they have the bare naked on um, Ibotta. They also have these bites, but they don't have the price tag. So I opened up my Walmart app, and these were over $4 a piece. When I can just get honey bunches of oats for $2.98. And they have different flavors. They have the honey roasted, and then this one is French vanilla with almond. Okay, what flavors do they have, Emily? They have lemon. Do you like that flavor? Yeah. Okay, how many of these do you think we should get? Two. Two? Okay, because we need two more after that, because we have to buy four. So what other flavor do you want to get? I want to get um, the orange cream. You want to get the orange cream? Yeah. And do you want to get two? Oh, there's only one left? Yeah. You got to pick one more. Okay. You got to get one more. The vanilla one? Yeah. You going to like that one? Yeah. All right. Thank you. I like to get my bread from Seder Brothers because it lasts so much longer. But man, even with a $1.25 discount, I don't know if I want to pay that price. Would you? See, when in doubt, go to Seder Brothers. They have the cheapest meat, especially pork and ground beef. See? Perfect. Even the chicken breast is cheaper. See, I can get this smaller pack for $9. Over there, they were like $15 a package. We're done, we just got back from Stater Brothers. I gotta unload all of these groceries and put them out and then separate them and go through them. So this is what $185.97 worth of grocery looks like. Pretty good deal if, you, if I do say so myself. I got four boxes of cereal which will last us a while because the kids are going to be going back to school. I even got some popcorn and the oil. 
some cooking oil. This one is the Bertoli cooking olive oil and it's made for high temperature, which I don't really use a whole lot, but I got it anyway because you can also use it for stir fries and, you know, sauteing and stuff like that. I got some crinkle cut french fries, some zucchini. I got this Cheesecake Factory brown bread. This is actually what I served at my party. Delicious. Even if you don't bake them in the oven, they taste good cold too. I got five pounds of white rice. I got two boxes of Texas toast. I got these for myself because they're very convenient and I just really like these for myself. They're perfectly portioned. I got brown rice and jasmine rice because they're really good. I got two boxes of crackers. So I got Cheez-Its and I got the cheese crispers. I got my Halo hydration for after workout. You drink one of these, they make you feel better. I got two cans of light tuna. The Chunk Light Tuna and Water, just the Great Value Brown. I'm hoping these taste good. I don't know. We prefer albacore, but hopefully those will do. I got a thing of strawberries. I got a bunch of beans. I got black beans, two cans, two cans of chili beans, and two cans of red beans. Um, actually, one can of red beans and two cans of dark kidney beans. I got some Prego uh, spaghetti sauce. I got Cheez-It Puffs. My kids say they really like these. They kind of remind them of Cheesy Puffs. The, che um, what are they? Cheetos. The Cheetos brand Cheesy Puffs. I got some Ritz Crisp and Thins. My son, my youngest one, likes these a lot. I got two boxes of these, these oat bars. And I got two boxes of these, these oat bites. They're really good. I like them a lot. I got some fruit snacks. So these ones were really expensive right now. So I only got one. She really wanted the Mario Brothers. But I also picked up the Assorted Mott's brand because, I mean, it's still a good brand. It's just not it's just not fashionable like this one, but they taste just as good. I got the Chewy Chocolate Chip Great Value brand because the real brand was so expensive. I could not afford $6 for a small box. So I got 24 bars. And I'm hoping they taste good. I'm going to try one in a minute and see how I like them. It, and I'll let you know if they taste good. Because usually I don't like buying off-brand stuff like that. They don't taste horrible. But they de definitely don't taste like the real thing. They're good. They don't taste like the real thing. But they're not, they're not the best. They will do the trick in a pinch. So if I put one of these in their lunchbox and put a piece of fruit in there or something with a little juice box... I'm pretty sure they're going to be satisfied. I got some spaghetti. Off-brand is fine with me. I got a box of lasagna. Again, off-brand is fine with me. Pasta doesn't really make a difference. I got these honey bunches of oats granola. I got the vanilla almond. I showed you guys in the store these ones. Better deal than the bare naked ones. I got a bunch of yogurt. My daughter wanted these whips. So these were not on the, the Ibotta rebates. But I got them anyway because I remember these whips. Do you guys remember these when they came when they first came out? They were so good, but then they were really hard to find over time. So I found these ones, and I'm hoping they taste just like I remember. And then we got some regular yogurt because my daughter picked these out. And then I got some cream cheese. Usually I like to get the real stuff, but I didn't want to spend full price for it. So I got the off-brand stuff. And then I got the Noosa. These are really good, but I found one in pumpkin. Babe, you think you're going to like pumpkin? Okay, because Emily picked this one out for you. I got pumpkin, raspberry, and blueberry. These these yogurts actually taste like dessert. They're so good. These used to be 99 cents. I'm so upset. They're $1.58. These, were, these ones are my favorite for baking, but I also like to use them at home for cooking as well. It's margarine, so it's oil-based, so you could use it like you would oil, and it doesn't burn like butter does. I'm really upset that they increase the price on this but it's my favorite brand so i just got one i got two activia yogurt drinkable things i'm hoping these taste good i really have been trying to get my probiotics in. i've noticed that ever since i started taking a probiotic capsule my digestive system has been working so much better and i don't bloat when i eat gluten i'm almost out of probiotics so i decided to get these to see if they will work just as good and i might use these as like a pre-workout and then I got some of this, I can't believe it's not butter, the light, because it tastes exactly like the regular and it's way less calories. For a tablespoon, it's only 35 calories and I think for a tablespoon of the regular one, it's like 60 or 70. I like that. And then I got some Mexican seasoning. 
on the fajita blend i got the carnitas remember when i used to cook with these and then i switched over to the just add juice well i can't find the just add juice ones anymore so i'm back to the grill mates which are pretty good you just have to add oil to them but i got the garlic urban wine the mesquite and the zesty herb i like these three but they have so many flavors to choose from i also got the kids some dentic kids flossers they like these out of all the ones that we tried, these ones work the best, so I got them those. And then my daughter requested hot dogs on the days that we're not really cooking and they want something easy. I think it's a great amount of groceries for such a small amount of money, especially right now with being on a very tight budget because of inflation. So I got a little trigger happy and I decided to scan my Walmart uh, receipt in Ibotta and I just wanted to remind you that when you scan your receipt sometimes they might forget some things so go through your list make sure that you got everything on there it looks good from what I can remember they even gave me the any brand crackers hoping I'm not forgetting anything okay so if you find something on your list that wasn't in your Ibotta you just go back I'm just gonna scan the thing again I like to scan the receipt I don't like linking because if you link it, then you can't dispute what is on your list. It just makes it easier for you so you don't have to worry about missing items. It was the Bobo's Oat Bars. And this one right here, if you bought one, you got one practically free. That's why I bought it. So you scan it, it matches, and then you scan it, and it matches, and it was it added to my, my purchase. So... It took my amount from $19 to $27.22. So I'm gonna add 18 purchases. That means that I got $27.22 on my Walmart purchase. So I'm gonna collect that money. Hopefully you could see, am I not in there? And then it's gonna take, it could take up to two days, but usually it's almost immediate in my account. You could check here too, you can go to your home you can go to your money up here, your earnings. You can go to my earnings and it shows you processing. So if I click on it, it shows that you have 2882 coming. And I think that was because I got a bonus. That's cool, an extra dollar or so. I like this pause feature. Thank you, Taz, for this idea. It makes it a lot easier. Anyway, I forgot to mention that you also will get more rebates the more you use the app. So when you first start out and you're not getting a whole lot of rebates on there, just continue using the app and you'll receive more. So I had 17 offers matched. So I had a box of cereal, the Captain Crunch. I actually got the peanut butter ones for 35 cents. I got one box of cereal for 50 cents. So I got the Trix box of cereal. I got a box of Cheerios for 50 cents off or back. And then a Reese's Puff cereal for 50 cents. And then I got an Any Brand Crackers. I got the Bobo's Oat Bites. These are so good. If you guys haven't tried them, you should. They're gluten-free. They're so good. And that brings me to the Bobo's Oat Bars. I got chocolate chip and lemon poppy seed. I'm hoping those taste good. I haven't tried them yet. I got the Halo Hydration. I got Ritz Crisp and Thins for a dollar back. I got Cheez-It Puffs, which were really hard to find. They're not in the cracker aisle. They're more in the chip area. I got a dollar back for those. I got two boxes of Texas toast for 75 cents. I got a box of Funfetti frozen pancakes. You get 80 mini pancakes for $5.78, but I got them for a dollar back. I wasn't gonna get them, but I splurged on it. So I only got it for, for $4.78. So $4.78 for a box of pancakes, I guess isn't so bad. So then I also got two containers of Activia Pro probiotic uh, drinkable uh, yogurt. I got a bunch of Kinder seasoning. I was able to get three of them. Oral-B dental floss picks. Th these ones are my favorite. They're $3.96 a pack, but they gave me $2 off, so I got them for $1.96. You guys, it's worth $1.96. Pick these up, you will not regret it. Then I also got three Nusa yogurts, and then we got a bunch of YoPlay singles. $28.00 and 82 cents back is a pretty good deal for one shopping trip and i spent a total of 186 dollars and 49 cents on all these groceries that is not bad at all so let's check uh stater brothers and see what i did there this is everything that i got from stater brothers which isn't a whole lot i usually just go for my bread my produce and my meat 
Actually, this doesn't belong here. I'm gonna start with the bread. I got the two bags of Nature's Own and sourdough bread for myself because sourdough... It's mine. <laughs> sourdough is low on gluten. It's the least amount of gluten in bread, so I like eating this one. I got some ricotta cheese to make some lasagna roll-ups and some Parmesan cheese. I got some gluten-free waffles, so I got the Vans. I really like these ones. These are the original ones, and then I got blueberry. Those are my two favorite. Those ones are really good. And then I got some broccoli and cauliflower, the tender butter lettuce mix. This is my favorite. It's uh, butter, lettuce, and radicchio. If you mix in some shredded up cabbage and carrots that's already done for you at Seder Brothers, you make a perfect salad right there. I got some avocado. I like to keep my avocado in the refrigerator because it keeps them from going bad or ripening too fast. I got two of these. These went up in price. They used to be 99 cents. Now they're $1.29 a piece. I mean, I know that it doesn't seem like a whole lot, just like the butter. You guys, when, when something is a good deal for you and it changes even just a little bit, it sucks. I got these apples. These ones are my favorite. I actually serve these on our platter. They're called Cosmic Crisp Apples. They're so good, so refreshing. Look at how big they are. Man, these are so good, very sweet. I got some oranges. I love sun-dried tomatoes, so I got some of these, the julienne cut. I'm the only one in my family who does, but I actually like the ones that are not packed in oil. But the but um, either way, they're really good. They're like sweet and they taste so good in pasta. I got some ham because my daughter requested it with some cheddar cheese so she can make sandwiches. It's her favorite thing to make for lunch. I got some American singles just to have in the fridge for whenever we have grilled cheese or burgers or whatever. We like having those on hand. I got some of these dull. Right now they're two for five. So I got the peach and I got pear because my son likes pear and my daughter likes peach. So I got one of each. I got some Stater, brand, Stater Brothers brand plain bagels. I prefer blueberry or everything but the bagel seasoning on them, but my daughter wanted the plain one, so we'll probably split one of these in the morning. I got some bananas. They already look like they're gonna ripen quickly already though, so I try to pick the most greenest ones. I got some bananas and I got some potatoes and then I got some meat. I showed you guys this stuff in the store already. But I like this blade steak because blade steak is more tender and it, it's kind of like the dark meat of the pork. So I prefer dark meat over white meat on pork. I don't, it just tastes better to me, it has more flavor. I got some chicken breast and I got it on the bone skin on because I like to take the skin off and the bone off myself. And then I like to boil the bones to make a stock. And then I couldn't believe that I actually got these for $3.84 for a whole package of drumsticks. I haven't seen a price like that in forever, so I grabbed one. I should have grabbed two, but I think I already have some in the fridge or the freezer. All of these groceries, I paid $113.18, which seems like not very much. Theta Brothers has better stuff when it comes to bread, meat, and produce. It's just the way it is. Every time that I buy bread or produce from Walmart, my bread and my produce goes bad so quickly. I know that they are supposed to be known for really great produce and maybe it is when you buy it and it lasts for a couple of days, but we're the kind of people that buy groceries every two to three weeks. So we like our vegetables to stretch as far as it can. Let's go over what I got back from Ibotta on Stater Brothers. Oh look, I already got my amount back. So I only got two things. And I got 50 cents back, so I got money back from the craft, and I got money back from the Nature's Own Bread. There was a lot more on here that I really wanted, but it was just too expensive. I couldn't afford it. So just get what you can afford. Don't try to break your bank just to get those, because I, I got wrapped up in that for a minute there, where I liked getting those rewards, and I liked getting money back. But then I started thinking about it, and I was like, but you're spending more money than you need and you could get something that's cheaper, a different option like I showed you at the store earlier today. Sometimes it's better to just pass on it even though you wanna see your money rock up. That took me a few months to collect. So don't think that you're gonna go in this and make big buku bucks, but it's something. It's something for you so that you can buy the things that you want later on when you really need them. So now I'm gonna scan my receipts into Fetch Rewards and see what points I get from them. I really like using Fetch Rewards a lot because their point system is pretty fair and they give you points even if you don't think that you deserve them. I don't even go through Fetch and look at what their rebates are. I just grab whatever I'm going to have and they'll give me stuff. 
Okay, this time I only got 149 points for my Walmart shopping trip, which I thought that I was going to get more. I really did think I thought I was going to get more, but that's okay. I still have 20,217 points in my account right now, and that's almost enough to, to um, cash out a $25 gift card. So I was able to redeem some points towards my General Mills cereal, which eventually, once I hit $25 worth of cereal, they'll give me a lot of points for that. So I'm working towards 1,500 points on the General Mills cereal. And then the yogurt, if you reach $10, they'll give you 1,000 points for that. But I got points on the Trick cereal, the Reese's Puffs, a bottle of water that I bought for my daughter at the end of our Walmart shopping trip because she was thirsty. And I got six points each on all of the Yoplait yogurts that I bought. That's pretty good. 149 total. Let's see what Stater Brothers gives me, which probably won't be enough, be a whole lot. 25 points. It wasn't much. I thought maybe they would give me something on the, the bread, but nothing really. So basically, they just gave me 25 points for scanning the receipt, which in bonus, I can scan my Starbucks receipt because I stopped and got a coffee. So I'm going to get another 25 points just for having coffee. There you go, 25 points just for coffee. Can anyone guess what time it is? That's right, it's time to recap. So on my Bata at Walmart, I got back $27.82 plus the dollar weekend warrior bonus. At Stater Brothers, I got 50 cents back plus the 50 cents nature's own craft bonus. And then at Fetch Rewards, I got 199 points. So in total, I got back $30.82. Okay, so that's it. I'm just going to be putting all my groceries away. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any criticism or you guys want to see something in specific, let me know so that I can work on it. I have issues with stuttering and stuff like that, so I'm working on speech. Huh? I think, I, think do. I do. I don't know. I cut out a lot of my videos and sometimes I look a little choppy because I'll stutter sometimes. <laughs> And I get lost sometimes, so I'm trying to work on it, but I think that once I get more viewers who are talking to me and communicating with me more and interacting with me more, maybe I'll get better and more confident in my videos. But definitely let me know what I can do to improve these videos and how you would like to see them. Oh, that brings me to another topic, actually. I did do a poll on my YouTube channel um, where I asked what kind of videos you like best on my channel. Thank you to the four of you guys who actually participated in that. It really does help me because it helps me figure out what you guys like to watch and how many people are actually viewing them and who's seeing my community posts as well. So thank you for participating and I will make sure to continue doing stuff like that too. So yeah, thank you so much and I will see you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs>